Hey, hey, so we'll get straight to the point. I'm talking quietly because there's a stalker outside, aka my sister, who actually probably doesn't even know I'm here. Create a new layer, set it to multiply, set it to clipping, and then get an offish blue color. Make sure it's not too saturated. Then do the same with a pink or red color. Get an airbrush and just brush it onto one side of the character. Make sure that it's not too saturated. Then with an eraser, you can just erase the eyes if you want the eyes to pop out a bit. I like to do that. I think it looks cool. Create a new layer, set it to overlay, set it to... Just get an airbrush. I usually just use the soft brush in Procreate, but yeah. Then just get a pale blue color and just go over the areas that you think lighting should be. Right now we have a little lighting scenario where there's light coming from the right and left side, but both of them are different colors. So taken from my knowledge of a character who is actually supposed to be 3D, of course when you're drawing you have to think in 3D, and if you don't know how to do this then you can download an app called Magic Poser or Easy Poser or you can just look at references. But it's much easier to just get a posing app where you can then see how to create lighting. Because in those poser apps, you can actually adjust the lighting into different scenarios. So if you don't know exactly where to add your lighting, then I highly recommend downloading one of those. You could find it in the app store, you bet your ass that I am not going to put it in the description. Yeah. So I'm just using, this is an overlay layer. You can use an add layer. Though, I don't want to use an add layer because I feel like it loses a lot of the saturation when I use an add layer, and on top of that, um, it kind of gets rid of the details of the character, which I spent a lot of time, and by a lot of time, I mean well over 15 minutes doing the hair, so I don't want to lose any of that detail. The lighting is just a cherry on top, it's not really to make up for anything else. So, for the first time ever, I'm actually using lighting to, do, to just complete a piece instead of to cover up my flaws. I'm now using a smudge brush to create a much softer blend because when the lighting starts going further and further away, um, it starts to fade a bit. So I just saved the image with a transparent background, and now I am inserting the photo inside. I am then getting Gaussian Blur, but as a brush. You can also do this in Ibis Paint. And now I am just using an airbrush on the Gaussian Blur and just blurring the edges a little bit. I think it gives it a more cinematic look and it just overall looks a lot nicer when you could blur things a bit. It really does help bring some more focus to the focal point. But don't blur it too much because you don't want to lose any of that detail. Make a new layer, set it to Add, and clip it. Then get a pink color with your airbrush and O. See? That's the thing, is um, it starts to fade a little bit, so instead get a color dodge layer. And see when I put it on, it's nice and saturated, so gently, gently with an airbrush, just brush on some red and then blush, brush on some blue. Yeah, see, it's really easy. You can change the blue to lighter, darker, depending on your preference. And then lower the opacity a little bit because I feel like it's a bit too intense. And that's about all for this very short tutorial. I would appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. And comment down anything that you want me to make because I will make any tutorial you want. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and see ya.